it's time it's time for a craft room storage and organization update with a quick tour and let's take a look uh, what has worked and maybe what hasn't worked during the last four or five years Hello and welcome into the studio craft room here at Ann Makes. I'm Ann and this is where a lot of the creative chaos is made on Ann Makes. If this is your first time visiting, I want to welcome you. Welcome! And ask you uh, if you would please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me and it would also help a lot with the algorithm of uh, YouTube. And I hope you'll come back and see more videos, more crafty storage, organization, projects, how-tos, uh, lots of shopping hauls at that does happen here. I do buy more supplies than I need. <laughs> but I also like to explain uh, why I buy the things that I do and the ideas that I get for the projects and how you too could use the, se the same or similar products for your own creating. And I also post vi uh, reviews of some of the products that I purchase and they're pretty honest. <laughs> Plus, as a bonus, you might get to see some cute cats. For my returning subscribers, thanks so much for stopping by and for your continued support. You know, every time you watch one of my videos, you comment, you like, you give it a thumbs up. It really helps uh, for this channel to continue to to grow and, and to make encourages me to make more videos that's for sure so uh, thanks a lot for that so today uh, let's talk about all the spaces I've created in and how they've changed over the years uh, a long time ago I only had my bed to create on or the floor or the kitchen table at one point all I had was a closet um, and then eventually I had a room a whole room to create it so the journey has been long and it continues <laughs> so in this house in particular uh, I've crafted to begin with uh, my fir very first crafting area was uh, was just a folding table in our bedroom uh, we had moved in we were process of cleaning renovating painting all that stuff and I carved out a space in the bedroom and if you go back in my videos you'll see there were several haul videos uh, filmed from that uh, spot in my bedroom and then my basement was ready to move in the first craft room slash studio started in the basement where pieces of furniture were repurposed storage was upcycled and even the joists in the ceiling were used to hang things at one point i carved out a space in our kitchen where I could create and be closer to all the hustle and bustle of family life at a time when being in the basement all the time had gotten too hectic. Then we moved outside where I had a seasonal studio. Then one Saturday morning, because a pipe burst in my beloved basement craft room and I had had enough. I had enough of the little light coming through that one window. It was cold in winter, Pipes were dripping, 
and which is why we moved back upstairs and we began the long process of having a contractor renovate and convert our three season room into the studio you see today. It took a long time, but when it was finally ready, I was really happy. You may have watched the first video I made where the room had just been finished and the paint was still wet. There are links to all the videos I have made about all my craft spaces in this house in the description below, as well as there are eye cards in the corner for you to click on to see what I am referring to. There are also two playlists. One is a organization playlist and the other is just craft rooms to make your searching and viewing easier. Again, check the links in the description below. As a follow up to the series I titled Craft Room Storage and Organization, let's discuss what has worked, what has not worked, and what was working sort of but got tweaked. By the way, I'm inserting a caveat here that states I reserve the right to post future videos of said tweaked systems and other areas never shown before. Ooh. The biggest change and the saddest one is that we did lose our snowball last fall. She is dearly missed, but she will never be forgotten. And there's a lot more stuff in this room, so much so that I thought I would uh, give you a quick look of what it looks like when I don't bother to clean up. Uh, right now I'm in the process of editing the video that you're viewing and this is <laughs> pretty much what my desk uh, looks like. And there's uh, Cosmo there that just made an entrance. Yeah, so at least you get to see uh, the real thing. And here's the best new uh, addition to the studio. It is Cosmo and Shadow. They are two little tuxedo cats. They are brothers. And one of the greatest thing about having uh, these two in the studio is that they are self-cleaning. <laughs> Turns out that this chair that I was really excited about is not as comfortable as I would like it to be, and I hope to change it eventually. Early on in the studio, the one thing I changed was adding this plexiglass piece to the backsplash of the sink to protect the pegboard. The pegboard system still works for me, and this area of the studio is where I do the messy stuff. I've kept that system going. Uh, the other system I like is all my Cricut storage, my Cricut cartridge storage, as well as the machines. My dies and embossing folders, they're in the same place. That system still works well. My more in storage system, MIS, that's a great system. Because right now I am limited in my mobility, I have a very bad hip, I work mainly sitting at that desk and it has become quite the catch-all it is messy most of the time and it does get a little crowded as i do share it with uh two furry fur felines my desk continues to be command center there's a lot more stuff on it but some things are still the same also like where i store the washi it's all there my computers and my files tend to be in the same um, area as they were. I have utilized as much as I can with the under the desk storage. I've added little drawers. I've added hooks so I could hang my most used tools. I have a, a storage card in there for my files. As you can see, the top of my desk is 
I've got all my notebooks. I have a tower now, a spinning carousel, so I could keep the most used uh, supplies near me. The other thing that I continue to use are my catalogs. Love my catalog system. It's very useful and uh, I highly recommend it. The paper punch storage is still in the same place. It works. I'm not changing it. I did add some little baskets on the side to hold a roll a rolls of ribbon and such. The catalog of colors uh, is great. However, I haven't been diligent in cataloging every color, every supply, every color. I do swatch out all my supplies when they come in, but I am not very good at the uh, keeping track of all my reds and all my yellows type of thing. In the cabinet where I store the stickers, that I tweaked a little bit. It's a little bit of a different system. I obviously have way too many stickers. I'm not using the binder system as, uh, as much as I used to. I have kept a couple binders, but most of my stickers have been moved into those floral bins. Pencils have not moved, and I'm happy to say that I have cataloged the majority of them in my catalog. The stamps, all my stamps, rubber stamps, clear stamps, wind mountain stamps are in the same area. That system continues to work really great, uh, as well as the catalog. The pockets um, are still a great system for storing any flat type of stamp, but I did notice that my stitched pockets are holding up better than my glued pockets. I've had to reinforce several of them with some additional tape. By the way, I have to confess that I still have some wood mounted stamps in the drawers here that I still have to move into the cabinet with the other stamps. By the way, I apologized for any sudden movements of the camera. I am doing my very best. As I've already mentioned, I am a little uh, incapacitated. I am walking with a cane and holding the iPhone with the other hand, so it's really hard to keep everything steady. So as I've mentioned, a lot of things I've kept the same, such as my organization types of systems, my like with like, my more in storage system. Uh, but in order to get more stuff into this room, I've been creative. I've added pieces of furniture. I've gone vertically also. I've added things on the wall. Here, uh, for example, I have some shelves on top of a table. I have a drawer system on wheels and I have stuff piled on top of it, which is basically all my materials that I repurpose. And the painting area, that's the same as it used to be. Uh, there's an additional little water fountain there for the kitties. And uh, there's storage under the island. I have these uh, drawers on wheels that store different tools that I use for uh, gel printing and mark making. There's another storage drawer with some more supplies. I've used every space I could, even behind furniture. I've stacked up. <laughs> um, I have things in baskets. And I have here, there's additional storage for all my pens and pencils. And on this side of the island, as you can see, I, I have added to the top of my desk, but be, the other, the front side of the desk or the back side of the desk, that's the same. The storage is the same. I've added my drafting table here that I use mostly for diamond art uh, painting projects, and I do use it for uh, sketching and tracing. 
several new carts came into the room to create more storage. There's a couple more carts in the back. This is still my sewing area. Uh, in those drawers on wheels, there is mostly fabrics and supplies for that. Those two bins hold journals in progress. That bin is uh, full of brand new journals, mostly. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a few blankets because I have a few kitties that sleep in here sometimes. In this corner, there is another cart and a stack of drawers, and that is mostly where I store all my collage material. And we're back at the desk. On the other side of the desk, that system has remained mostly unchanged, including the bling drawer uh, that still functions, uh, but there's just a lot more bling in there now, so it, it's well stuffed as are all my drawers for that matter as for the shelving unit next to the drafting table all i've changed there is i added all my drawing tools including all the pencils erasers sharpeners etc and here's a quick look at a couple of new pieces of furniture that i added to store wire uh, and my coloring book. Going back to the underside of the cabinet is where I show you that I use hooks to hang tools and mats, as well as I use the shelves uh, under the island to store more tools. In the drawer storage unit are stored craft kits, an air purifier, and some mark making tools. The top of the island is a great place to take a nap if you're a cat. And I am sneaky and even use the space under the furniture to store extra office supplies like vinyl pouches. There are also several bins with magazines and books throughout tucked here and there. And I have made some room to grow. There are a couple empty bins and storage cases tucked under furniture just in case I get more supplies. And uh, we're going back again to this area because I forgot to mention a few things, uh, like that craft cart there, that beige craft cart, that holds a lot of vintage style ephemera for journals, uh, art journals mostly. And there's a quick look at the drawers again. One is for pencils, the other is for markers. Uh, and I wanted to oh, tell you that in this drawer system, I keep all my pastels, crayons, charcoals, things mo mostly for coloring, um, coloring mediums. And here's a look. I have the Dollar Tree pegboard set up on the marker storage that I made out of foam board. And that holds all my alcohol ink markers. We're back at the desk. Um, oh, I just wanted to show that my emphasis on the uh, stacking up, going vertical when all else fails. The printer is new. And again, we're looking at where I store all my magazine cutouts for collage. And yeah, so now I'm just showing you again some parts that maybe you you may have missed since uh, I'm going pretty quickly. But overall, as you can tell, there's a lot more stuff in the room. And I just managed the best I can to uh, shove and stuff everything in here. But overall, I still love my room. I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview and update of my studio slash craft room and in future videos perhaps i can go into more detail into more specific areas uh, if that is something you would like i really appreciate uh, you being here today thank you so much for watching please like comment share don't forget to subscribe 
and until next time uh stay crafty take care of yourself bye